When we want to solve this inequality, the first thing you notice on the left-hand side is that both of these terms have a factor of x built in. So we factor our x out, and what we have left is x squared minus 16 is greater than 0. So next thing you should see is that this you can factor again with the difference of two squares. So your first one is a perfect square, your last one is a perfect square, and there's a subtraction sign in between. So the way we factor this is x times x plus 4 times x minus 4. So when you're working with inequalities, the first thing you want to do is to find your solutions. And just like we did before, the way you do that is to take each factor, each term that's being multiplied by each other, set it equal to 0, and solve. So our solutions are 4, negative 4, and 0. So the second thing you need to do is to make a number line. And put these values on your number line. So we have negative 4, 0, positive 4. Our third step is to perform your sign test. So with the sign test, we take a value in each of these regions, plug it into our problem to see if it really does produce values that are greater than zero. So we're looking for values that are positive. So if I'm on this side, what I'm going to do is test the value of negative five. So if I take my equation, I plug in negative five, it doesn't matter if you plug it in here or here. I'm going to use this one just so it's easier to see. What we have is negative 5. Negative 5 plus 4 gives us a negative 1. Negative 5 minus 4 gives us a negative 9. So a negative times a negative times a negative is going to give us a negative result. Next thing, we need to test a value in this region. So you need to test a value between negative 4 and 0. So I would test negative 1. And same thing, we're going to plug it into this expression. So you have negative 1. Negative 1 plus 4 gives us 3. Negative 1 minus 4 gives us a negative 5. A negative and a negative makes a positive. So this region is positive. You need to test the value in this section. So testing a number between 0 and 4, I would test 1. So we plug 1 into the same expression just like we did before. So you have 1. 1 plus 4 is 5. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. That's going to give you negative 15. So anything in this region is negative. You need to test a value on this side. So I would test 5. And you can pick any numbers in this region to test. So over here, I could have picked 6. I could have picked 7. I could pick 10. It doesn't matter. You're just selecting a number on that side. So if we're testing 5, we have 5. 5 plus 4 gives us 9. 5 minus 4 is 1. That's positive. So the problem says, where is this graph greater than zero? Numbers that are greater than zero are positives. So we have positive numbers here. We have positive numbers on this side. So we have open circles at negative four and zero because the problem said, I wanna know where is it strictly greater than zero. It doesn't ask for equal to zero. And then everything in between. So this is negative four to zero. You also have positive numbers on this side. So you have an open circle at 4, once again, because they didn't say where is it equal to 0. They said where is it greater than 0. So that's 4 to positive infinity. Made with DoodleCast Pro.